Welcome to the Beyond Physio Podcast, where we help you move, excel, and inspire others on your journey to your next level with knowledge and advice from experts and testimonials from our like-minded community. Danny, I want to welcome you to our little podcast show and interview, and I'd love for us to hear all about how you found us, how you found Next Level, what got you here, and what your activity level is like, the things you love to do. So really what, what brought me to Next Level Physio is um, the PT Megan. Um, she was previously at, at another place and I had Achilles tendonitis and I was training for a marathon. Um, so I went in, the marathon was about two months away. I recently just had to take six weeks off of training um, and she really got me excited to get back into it, put me through some various treatments. And what that led to is um, being able to f complete the half marathon. Um, so I went from feeling like I couldn't compete any longer to completing the half. And when she moved over to Next Level Physio, I, I had to come. Um, so that, that brought me here and I haven't looked back since. That's awesome, Danny. So it sounds like, and from our previous conversations, that you've been an active guy most of your life, true? Yeah, yeah, very true. I would say the last couple of years I've gotten more active and physical therapies even enhance that. And I know later on we'll talk about what the conceived is physical therapy and what I've found out it is over, over the last <laughs> yeah. um, few months here. Um, but my activity level, the way I feel, it, it's increased. So probably active around five to six days a week now. And I really wake up wanting to be active. So um, th that's where I am today. And part of the reason why I'm here today is really just to share that with others. That's awesome, Danny. And Danny, it's funny because you fit right into the profile of our ideal client, which is a runner or a hybrid athlete or a lifelong athlete who just wants to keep going at it either because they've had an athletic past, they want to continue finding meaning and being active and whatnot, or because they're getting a little bit older, yeah. you know, over 30. And what they want to do is continue maximizing and optimizing their performance so that, you know, for the rest of their lives, they can continue getting better and better at what they love to do. Yeah, a absolutely. And I think another thing to highlight as well is when you're in your, when you're over 30, you're in your early thirties or over, um, you, and you still have that competitive drive, it kind of switches to how can I compete with myself? And the more you can compete with yourself and, and be a better person, be stronger and be active, the more you can bring to others um, because you're on top of your game so you can help others more and really help fulfill their determination and competition. So um, it's, it's been cool. It's been really cool. I love how you said that because now that I'm almost 50, I find the same <laughs> thing where I, you know, I'm not going to compete with these younger guys. This is not, yeah. it's out of my scope right now. But what I can do is just get better at what I do. And maybe I can't hit some of the race times I used to yeah. in my 5Ks or triathlons uh, in my 30s or even 20s. But what I can do is optimize what I can do at this age and knowing that, hey, I put my best foot forward and I really did put my best effort into this. So that helps me to get out of the sort of tunnel vision of, well, I have to win this race, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, the strategy really opens up. You have new goals and new sets, and part of that has been I, I know what I can accomplish based on the training I've done, based on the treatments we've gotten here, like B, BFR or, or dry needling, and then we set that, that tone and that path of, hey, push to this limit. We're going to bring you to that next level, um, but also we're going to do it in the smart way. You're at this part of your life now, um, so really let's think about it. Take a step back so you can accomplish the overall goal, not the goal you want to accomplish today to beat a, a mile time. Right. You know, I'm glad you say smart way because I think I've gotten a little bit smarter after my 20s where now I incorporate warm-ups, now I actually have a warm-up warm down. I actually take rest days and love my rest days because yeah. I can hit it harder <laughs> the next day. Whereas in my 20s and 30s, it, it really wasn't like, ah, eh, you know, I'll just, you know, do a warm-up mile and whatever. But that has really transformed my entire game, I think, as far as, like you said, strategy to optimizing myself. What's also changed for you, Danny? Yeah, I, I think the overall approach, I used to wake up and say, no, I, I got to hit these numbers today. I, I got to work out this for this long amount of time. It, instead, it's a tip taking a step back let's look over the overall picture I want to create the foundation so I, I can run that half marathon or that mile at that certain pace I'm looking for so taking a step back and thinking about foundation to accomplish things rather, rather than let's just accomplish this workout today that's awesome and so Danny as far as what and let's go into uh, what physical therapy was in your mind before and what that might be now since you've been with next level What's that transition been like in your mind of what you thought PT was and what it isn't here at Next Level? Yeah, so growing up in sports, I've been active in sports since probably five or six years old. I think I started wrestling when I was six, football the summer after, um, and then 
what I really always thought physical therapy was, was if someone's injured, they're going to see the PT person. And then that PT person's going to give them exercises to heal. And that was it. But what I've really learned throughout the years, and it's highlighted here, especially how we combo both strength and physical therapy to our unique needs. It's not just to heal, it's to get stronger, it's to mentally get stronger, and to understand and have that knowledge increase of how your body works, um, how everything's connected. So the more knowledge I have about how my body works, um, we look at everything from a unique perspective, one-on-one. -on -one. I know what my weaknesses are, and then we build off those weaknesses to create that strong, like I said, foundation, and it takes it to the next level. So I'm not here just to heal, I'm here to get stronger, maintain, and really accomplish my, my new goals as part of this next chapter of my life. That's awesome, Danny. And especially as a runner with these aspirations in the fall and beyond to really perform at the best level, uh, for us during our phase two, which is our Excel phase, we do focus on getting people to build that strength foundation, like you said, um, and st stabilize whatever needs to be stabilized further for the return to what they love to do. Uh, I would say that the, the fallacy of PT these days, especially in the traditional setting, is that people think that once you're out of pain, that's when rehab stops. But as a good friend of mine would say, rehab starts when the pain stops. And if you are out there and kind of stop your PT once you're out of pain, I think that you do yourself a disservice because that's when you can really start building and laying the foundation down so that you don't get into the same trouble that you did before. So we frequently in the past have had athletes come in, you know, they've, you know we got you know, through that phase one to get them out of pain. And then what happens is say, oh, they're done. But then they'll come back like three weeks later and with the same issue. And we're like, I told you, you know, you got to just kind of stay the course here. Yeah. And I, I get it because uh, it can get expensive and it can definitely sort of feel like uh, and people are very impatient. But if you just stay the course, I can almost guarantee that you're going to have a lot less likelihood to run into the same issues as you did before. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really that long term mindset. Um, so when you like you said, rehab starts once you're feeling good. Once you're feeling good, if you take a step back, which I might have done in my, I I I, I did do in my, <laughs> in my in my in my early twenties. Um, once you start feeling good, it's let's take a step back, look at the costs. If you're thinking long term, if you step out of rehab once you're feeling good, what what I've found is you're coming back and you're going to spend more over the long term. So yeah. if you stick with it, I'm feeling good, um, Jerry. I want to continue to feel good. What do I have to do now? Where where can we go from here? And that change the the unique approaches you take but rather than restarting every time you get re-injured I think over the long run um, the commitment to that it's not only from a savings perspective financially but also just from really really continuing to be able to amp it up to the next level yeah and I love how that you're looking at uh, physical therapy as an investment uh, and I think that if you come into our doors as, a, as looking at this as an investment we will make sure that your ROI really compounds over time because it's not our goal to see our clients forever. The goal is to get them to a point where they are really st strong, getting back into what they love to do. And as people get better, we don't see them as often because we want them to test things out. We want them to uh, really challenge themselves, but also know that if they have to pop in for a quick tweak or something needs to be changed a little bit or upgraded, that can be done along the process of them returning back safely and effectively into their favorite activities. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a good point too. The Everything that I've done from a training perspective, it's been documented. Um, we can, I can go in and look at the past workout plans, the workout plans for the for the future, and that I have a toolkit now. So as I've lessened my regular schedule here to, to come in into next level, I have the confidence at, at home to look up those workout plans, why I did them, and, and what to do moving forward. So I have a whole toolkit to bring with me. Would you say that the experience has been educational so far, Danny? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've learned more than, than I ever have for, about the, the body and my commitment to rehab and um, taking time to take a step back to let the body heal so I can push it um, when I need to. Um, so very educational, and I, I think that's what sets it apart. In the past, growing up with, with trainers in the sports world, it's really, you got to do this to heal, but it's this is what we got to do to heal, and then this is what we're going to do so you, you don't re repeat that injury and you make your whole whole body stronger. That's awesome. I feel like we're at a point, uh, as you're entering phase three, where we're just coaching you, which is actually the, the desired goal that we want to get to with our clients. Like We just want to coach you on how to stay in the game physically, mentally, emotionally sometimes, and having these conversations about 
kind of finding out what the purpose of meaning, like your why as to why you want to continue and bring you back to that purpose so that you don't lose sight of that on your journey. Yeah, it, it really is mind, body, spirit. And um, what's cool about this, about Next Level is it's not just about the body. It, it's really, is our conversations when I'm getting my rehab, when I'm getting my treatment, it's really, let's bring it to the next level. Um, that entrepreneurial mindset of, hey, you can you can accomplish the things you set out to goal, even those goals that are outside of, of the studio, it, it allows us to, it really just amps you up to, to go out and succeed in life. I love that. So Danny, what is it that keeps you coming back? You know, basically we're going through this, this phase three program, which I'm really excited about because now we're amping up for your fall race season. Yeah, so I, it's it's funny when I think about what keeps coming back because you think about the products that, that Next Level offers and the treatments they offer, but I, I think it's the authenticity of the people, the passion they, they have for, for the work they do. Um, you get a sense from day one when I came in, I knew that I was gonna get treatment where um, Jerry, Megan um, took care of me and they wanted me to succeed and they looked at me from an individual profile, not not the, all the data that's out there to heal the, an Achilles, but, but what does Danny need? Um, and that authenticity and that care and the passion everyone here has um, for athletes to accomplish things is really what keeps me coming back. And then the products uh, are, are a bonus on, <laughs> on top of that. So it's usually when you're in looking for services just as an athlete, as an individual, it's what, what are the products, what are the products that the company offers. But um, when you pair that with, with good people who are passionate about what they do, um, that, that keeps me coming back. Danny, thank you so much for that. Yeah. Uh, so let's get back into your running for a second, Danny. Uh, I've, I've noticed and I've, I've heard from other clients who we've recently come in contact with where the first thing I ask them as a runner is, hey, did, you know, did your PT take a look at how you run? Some people will say that, oh, I was on a treadmill for a few minutes and they took some video. Uh, but what I've been hearing from them re more recently is that, yeah, they took the video, but I don't normally run on a treadmill, so I felt really awkward. What do you think was different about the way that we did your gate analysis that was helpful? Well, one was being out, being outside. Um, absolutely, it, we created a, a good environment where I felt comfortable to run like I, I would naturally do on my own. Um, and then all of the analysis behind that. So it wasn't just a, what does is, what is Danny look like from running behind? What does he look like from the front? No, it was all, all, all the different angles and even the approaches with your hands, your, your head. Um, a lot of times in the past um, with trainers, that they've just focused on, on my legs and my hips. Uh, but really this was the full body and analysis of what we can do and, and where we can get better in, in a natural environment where I am running, which, which is outside on the pavement. Yeah, that's awesome. And obviously our program was geared towards getting you back to running and also our strength training program for you has also been geared to getting the running strength that you need for your uh, return to running. Yeah, it's when I'm out, when I'm out there now, um, since the strength training, I know we talked about the foundation a little earlier on here. Um, when I'm out on the road now, when I used to get tired, that strength kicks in and I, I go, oh, I, I can take it a, another mile. And that doesn't mean sprinting the next mile like I used to. It's no, I have that base to really continue at a natural, natural pace. Um, and taking a step back and not just thinking about running, but, but the whole body. I mean, it, it's funny to think, I was telling my friends, I came here for an Achilles and now my knees feel better, my <laughs> hips feel better, my <laughs> shoulders, my shoulders feel better. So when all those things feel better, uh, on, on the road, um, you, you can go for longer. And also knowing in the back of your head, if something does feel tweaked uh, on your run, you have something you can reach out to um, quickly. It doesn't, you don't have to wait till the next session. Um, extremely accessible. Um, if I'm feeling anything or have questions, I, I get those answers quick. So there's confidence to, to keep moving. I love that. And I think you touched upon our whole person approach because I've been, you know, I've been in this game for over 20 years now and a lot of times in the traditional setting, you're seeing for patients an hour sometimes, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to do much more than manage symptoms. Yeah. But because we see our clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it allows us to really take the time to figure out the whole picture for what Danny needs to get back to running successfully. And that really incorporates finding the root cause, not just addressing symptoms. Symptoms are part of it, but if you look at PT as having two diagnoses, one is that root cause as to why you're having the issues in the first place, the second diagnosis being the symptoms that you come in with, like an Achilles issue, like a sciatica for people out there who have back pain. When we take a look at everybody, at how people move as a whole and put those in light 
to what they want to get back to and what other factors outside of their running or strength even might be actually hindering them, we get a much better plan of care that encompasses dealing with and addressing the aspect of the athlete on all different levels. So it might be nutrition, it might be sleep, yeah. it might be stress levels. Uh, it might be their protein intake, which is massively low on a lot of our endurance athletes. And so if we can take this whole picture, this whole person point of view for any given athlete coming in, we have a much better way of dialing in the treatment plan that's gonna be very specific for where they wanna go. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think to that point, it really creates accountability. So that training program you're talking about, it, we're, I was with you step by step of the way. This is why we're doing this. This is how we're gonna increase. This is when we're gonna, gonna take a step back. So it's, in the past, I've had this accountability is on you to complete these these activities so you heal. Yeah. That Now it's, hey, Jerry has the accountability to create the program for me. I have the accountability to fulfill it. And I know I have someone like who's going to help me fulfill it um, and, and the reasons why. That's awesome, Danny. So just to close, Danny, uh, and thank you so much for carving out time from your busy schedule. I know you and your wife have plans for today. Um, what I wanted to also ask is, as a final note, what are like one or two words that you think of when you tell other people about Next Level? Yeah, I, I think collaboration um, and dedication come to mind first. Uh, obviously, I talked about how, how that there's that uh, authenticness to Next Level Physio. People here are doing what they love, um, but knowing you have that dependency in people to fall back on when, when you're working through things or um, feeling certain ways, um, it really keeps the spirits up and it just helps us move forward. That's awesome. Danny, thanks again for your time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to be here. Thanks so much for tuning into today's episode. It really does mean a lot to us. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or comment if you got at least one or two helpful insights or takeaways to help you get to your next level.